Hey y'all, it's Laura with Cotsburg Creations. I'm a part-time picker, thrifter, and reseller in Central Mississippi. And it's been a little while since I've done a video. Um, I've, I've been doing some hauls and I've been selling some stuff. I just haven't sat down long enough to do a video, I guess. And I need to sit down. I have um, self-diagnosed. I haven't been to a doctor. I don't really go to the doctor that much. Uh, plantar fasciitis or plantar fasciitis or however you want to say it. Um, I've had it about a month now. Some days it's fine. I can feel it, but it's fine. And some days it's horrific. <laughs> so, um, my husband brilliantly said, hey, don't we have an air boot in the closet? Well, why don't you pull it out and wear it around the house and see if that helps any. So, I did sleep in it for two hours last night. That's about all I could tolerate. It was kind of torture. But I think he had the air too tight because there was so much pressure on my ankle. And so, I've kind of been wearing it for a little while today. So, we'll see. Who knows? Anyway, so if y'all have any good tips, um, yes, I could probably use some better shoes. But honestly, I don't really work in a field that you can um, just wear tennis shoes every day. Um, I guess I don't feel like I'm at the age to wear old lady orthopedic shoes. Um, and I'm sure if I got some weight off of the foot, that would probably help too. But the likelihood of me dropping some pounds and actually maintaining that is slim to none. So, y'all are getting kind of a different view, um, today. Uh, this is my bedroom. This is where... Pretty much everything is housed. These are ladies' dresses. That is household kind of stuff. Some shoes, some blankets, some plush. And then everything else is just packed in a million different places. All right, so um, this past Saturday, I went to um, two garage sales. And before that, I had been to a thrift store. So I'm just going to show you all kind of what I picked up. It's kind of um, all messed up at this point. So, you know, we'll just go through. So these are some little boys, um, chocolate brown Carhartt shorts. I picked these up at one of the garage sales. These are a boy's size eight and they're in really, really good condition. They do have that tab on the inside where you can um, tighten the elastic, you know, pull, cinch it up a little bit. Um, if they're too big or something. So, boy size 8 chocolate brown Carhartt shorts. Toss those over there. Some of these things I just got out of the dryer, y'all, and they I haven't flipped them back inside out. So, I uh, picked this up at the garage sale. This is a Matilda Jane, the Paint by Numbers collection. This is a girl's size 10. Just a little floral dress. It's kind of got the cute little beads down the front zip up back and there's your matilda jane logo so girl size 10 and it's the paint by numbers collection of matilda jane uh let's see i'm not even gonna attempt oh wait maybe it's not that bad y'all i swear look this one isn't that bad but the lululemon tanks that come with the built-in sports bras like they need to come with instructions because once you get them turned inside out and all kinds of backwards, it, is, it takes a rocket scientist to put those back together. So, this is a mint green and black Lululemon tank. Um, it has the little cinch cord here where you can cinch up the bottom. The pull tab is missing, but if you look inside the bra, this is a size 6. Size 6. I picked this dress up um, just because I thought it was cute and fun. And it was in excellent condition. And it's inside out. <sighs> Come on. It's kind of a little halter top with a keyhole. Sleeveless ruffle. Isn't that cute? This is um, sugar plus lips. Large. Tin tag. Ladies large, so just a cute, I know it's end of summer and stuff, 
but people still have places to go. And in the South, it's still hot. It's going to be hot for a while. Um, I picked this up kind of thinking that I may like it, but I didn't. It just came out of the dryer, y'all. It's still going to be pressed and steamed and all that. Um, it's just a blue tank. It is Dylan, and it's a medium. It's kind of, um, I don't know, it's kind of that shark bite cut. Um, I had a white one too, but my daughter took it and sliced it up the back. That's just what they do. Um, this is a mini Bowden floral size 910. It does have the sash with it. It came off during the wash. So mini Bowden floral size 10. It does have some under stuff to kind of make it a little more flouncy for the girl. So, that picked up at that at a garage sale. This is, let me see if I can get this zipped. Oh, it's not a zip, it's a button. All right, well, let me see if I can get this buttoned. This is a Matilda Jane. It's the paint by numbers. It's a jacket. And it's got the little wood buttons. Cute, cute, cute. Look at the hood. See, isn't that cute? little wood buttons little ruffle on the bottom um and there's your matilda jane this is the paint by numbers and this is probably yep it's a 10 so those were two items from that little girl's collection and here's a matilda jane skirt it just says medium so i'm assuming it's a ladies medium So, Matilda Jane, I don't know. I guess, yep, it's got to be a ladies. Little pockets right there, right there, and let's see, Matilda Jane, medium. And I don't, I don't know if the ladies stuff has the, it must not have the logo on the bottom, the little label on the bottom. All right, I picked this up at the thrift store. It is a men's denim button-down hoodie. Look at that. And y'all, it's a bugle boy. Hello. Men's bugle boy, size large. Like, I grew up, I was um, a teenager in the late 80s, 90s, and... I remember my boyfriend wearing Bugle Boy. Um, he's my husband now. <laughs> he had a purple Bugle Boy shirt that I just loved. It was a purple stripe. So I picked this up just because it just gave me a lot of vibes from back in the day. All right, I picked up this uh, Squishmallow. It's a pink bunny. It's um, like the, what are these, like a 10 inch or an 8 inch? Um, I also picked up a mint green one, and I put him in the wash, and he came out with stuff on him that wasn't on him when I put it in, so he's got to be treated again. I also picked up another Squishmallow. It's the Fox. It's the Valentine Edition XOXO, so I picked both those up at the garage sale. They've both been washed, and they did just fine. Um, picked up these vans at the thrift store. They're the checkerboard. And they are, yeah, I hate that they don't look as good as they really do look. There is some fading here on this shoe, but not so much on that shoe. So I don't really understand. And they're in like, like they look like they've never been worn, honestly. These are a, I already looked, I think they're men's six. So six and a half. Yeah. Six and a half. So anyway, picked those up at the thrift store. And I don't know if this was the same person because they're a different size. But these are the high tops, and they have like, um, I don't know, Japan, Japanese, Chinese, or some kind of oriental writing on them. I don't know the significance or anything like that. Um, I've qu quickly looked them up, but haven't done a whole lot of work on them. Um, these are an eight and a half. So, these are an eight and a half. Anyway, 
They were different. I like to pick up different. I like to pick up unique. I like to pick up things that stand out. Pick these up at the thrift store also. Um, didn't really know anything about these. I just knew that they looked brand spanking new and thought I'd give them a try. They're kind of a metallic green, olive green, walky, W-O-L-K-Y. And that's a 40. I haven't done the conversion on it. But anyway, look at that. Look at that. I don't think they've ever been worn. The only thing that makes me think that they've been worn is like there's a little wear on the label right there. Y'all, excuse me. I was doing a, a demo on the lipsticks I sell um, for, for a group earlier. And so I haven't, I haven't washed it yet, but if you're interested, it's 12 hour wear with no alcohol. So it's no burn. And so they're not coming off until I go use my cleanser and get them off. So anyway, I right, picked this up at the garage sale. It is a 2010 Mr. Hooper store. Um, it doesn't, it comes with, it comes with one Oscar. And I don't, I mean, I don't know if he belonged. I guess he belonged here because he does fit on here. But I, I say he fits on here. No, he doesn't. I don't know where he fits because this is square and this is round. But I know that you can put one of the characters on here. And when you slide them all the way down, that Oscar pops up. So, I haven't checked to see if he can go anywhere else. But um, this isn't one of the old ones. Like, I think either my mom or my aunt still has the one that my brother, who is 50, grew up with. So, um, but it's a 2010, so it is 11 years old. But it needs some cleaning, and I need to do a little more research on it to see where this Oscar goes. Who knows? Got these in a garage sale. These are Crocs, like little water shoes. Honestly, don't think they've ever been used or worn. I can't believe I can actually see these tags without my readers. Oh, see, spoke too soon. Here we go. I have contacts in also. These are a two. Does that say two or 12? Good grief. I think it says two. I think it's two. Navy, gray, little cross water shoes. All right, pick this up at a garage sale. Don't know why. I've looked them up. They're not worth really anything. I mean, I may get 20 bucks out of them. Um, there are some cards that are kind of rare, and I probably am not going through this stack to see. These are called Bill Ward Torchy Cards, and they're 1994, and they're kind of naughty cards. Um, like, she's not undressed, but she's not completely dressed, and pretty much every card is like that, and they all have this little saying, and then they have some information on the back, and anyway, um, the back of the card is a little more explicit than the front of the card. But anyway, um, here's what I have found when I go to garage sales. If I can do a bundle, and you know this probably, um, and then you just go up and say, hey, how much for everything? The chances are greater they're going to look at what's in your hand or look at what's in your bag and go, uh, give me, and they'll throw out a number. So if you can find like some smalls like that to kind of help fill your bag, you probably are going to come out a little better. Um, at that same garage sale, I picked up um, this Nintendo gun. It's um, the 1985 Nintendo Zapper, and she wanted five dollars for it. And I just kind and 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 I'll, I'll show you. I just picked up an Xbox controller, so she wanted five for each, and I just kind of went, mm, let me think about it. So um, when I got my bundle together. I think she ended up giving me um, these for five together. So anyway, usually when I do a bundle though, even though I kind of know what the prices were at the garage sale, I don't, I don't come home and price them like that accordingly. I say, okay, here's how much I spent. 
here's how much I got, divide it out, and that's how I kind of price my stuff in my spreadsheet. So anyway, all right, here's, an, here's what I'm talking about. Sports bra, tank, and it would take me 30 minutes, I swear, to get this all back together. Look at that. Are you kidding? I did it in one try. I did it in one try. Crazy. Lululemon, it's a size six also. I swear y'all, I usually spend forever trying to figure out how to put these back together. Lululemon, size six, black and gray. Picked this up at the thrift store and I really wish I had found it in better condition, but it's awesome anyway. Look at this. It's a Minnie Mouse lunchbox. It does not have the thermos anymore. Hard sided, latch on top. She's got some condition issues and honestly looks like somebody maybe tried to repaint her eyes. I'm not sure. She's got some peeling here, some peeling here. But, I mean, she should still go for, I mean, you know, I'll definitely, I didn't really, I don't, didn't even, maybe paid, I don't know, a couple of bucks for. But, I, I mean, I can definitely probably get at least 20. It's Aladdin Industries. It's made in the USA. It was made in Nashville, Tennessee. Um, a couple of years ago, I don't even know, last year, year before, three years ago, four years ago, Gucci was inspired by this, actually a Mickey one, to recreate and use in a runway show. So um, there was some high demand for these um, during that time. So I'll see, you know, we'll see how it goes, who knows. All right, I just thought these were so stinking cute. They are from Sears. They are green overalls, it's it tough skins. Tough skins, green, little boys overalls from Sears. And it says, here we go. Here we go. Um, 21 to 26 pounds. Look at that tag. How awesome are these? They're just so stinking cute. You know, I sold a pair of, like, a vintage leisure suit that was, like, a 24-month. I paid $2 for it, and I think I sold it for $70. And I don't expect to get these for these Sears overalls, but I just thought they were fun, you know. Picked these up at the thrift store. These are Cush or Couché little boy shoes. They kind of remind me, like, um, I don't know what I'm trying to say. But anyway. These, there's a size in one of them. So it ain't gonna be in this one. I have another pair. So these are kind of a tan. There's the other pair. And these are the camos. And one of them has a size in there somewhere. Here we go. Y'all, I swear, I have contacts in that are supposed to be bifocal contacts. I'm never getting them again. They're an 11. So I'm assuming that the others are also. Cush or couche. I don't know. Can y'all see that? I don't have boys. Don't know that. All right, let's see. Anything else before I get to that pile? I picked this up at garage sale. Um... Columbia Youth Large Rain Jacket. I actually have another one of these, I think, in a medium. So I have a medium and a large now. Okay, one more thing. Got this at the garage sale. It is a cow neck ladies blouse, kind of um, not necessarily, it's not, I guess you could call it a high low because it does cut up here in the front kind of roughly on the sides um i want to say it's like a small medium but it's a generous small medium let's see 
It is My Beloved is the brand. And I think I had to come in here to Yeah, I don't know where I saw the size, but I saw the size somewhere. And I think it was like a small medium. Good grief. Who knows where I saw it? It's not on that tag. Anywho, I'll find it. Glory. All right. Some mud pie. Little boys. Distressed um, jeans. They roll up on the end to show a little blue plaid. These are new with tag. Um, actually, how cute. The blue plaid's all the way through. Wow. That's great. So, it's kind of a lined jean. But just a little distressed little boy's mud pie jeans. Okay. I think that's all of the regular stuff. So, at one garage sale, I found a ton of vintage t-shirts. Oh, my gosh. You know what? I'm going to have to go get that. Let me go get that. Y'all get to see my mess. Hang on. Okay, I've been washing. So I picked up this little troll, Dallas Cowboys troll doll. I got him all cleaned up. Still a little dingy here, but he looks better than he did. Um, picked up this vintage Cowboys hat. Um, I've washed it. It looks better than it did. Um, still a little wet. So, this label is, um, I swear getting old. Yeah, I still don't even know what that says. Anyway, it looks like an NFL label, but vintage cowboy hat. And one more, this is Super Bowl back-to-back -back champions. Logo 7. That may have been what that other one was. No, I just couldn't tell. So this one had a little bit more yellowing in spots. And um, I've oxy-cleaned it. I've let it soak. So I don't know that it's going to get much better than it is. But it's a nice cap. Anyway, so that was, that. I thought about that because some of these t-shirts are Dallas. So, obviously, somebody here was a Cowboys fan. So, anyway, let's see what we got. I picked up a lot. Some of them are nothing and some of them may be good. This is an NFL Pro Set t-shirt. It is vintage. I cannot read the tag because it's worn. So, Pro Set Day. This was Dallas versus Cincinnati at the Texas Stadium in October of 91. This one has, actually, I don't think this one has any spots at all, if I'm correct. So, I don't think this is anything super special. I may lot it up with some of the other cowboy stuff. We'll just see. <clears throat> I wish somebody would tell me what this means. IB at BV. Don't know. But you can see there are some spots here. But it's a Nolan Ryan, number 34, 300 wins, July 18th, 1990. And you can see that there's something here. I have treated it. I haven't had any luck with it. So, um, anyway, there's some spot here. Yeah. So, anyway, and a little bit of a spot, some spotting right there. Some kind of streak or something. I may try to go back over that one more time. Um, here's another cowboy shirt. This is kind of a gray stripe. Just says Cowboys National Football. What does it say? National Football League established 1960. Nothing on the back. This one's in good shape. I don't think it has any staining. And this is an extra large. So, nice. Vintage, made in USA. Single stitch. All right, and I think there's one more cowboy shirt. Dallas Cowboys Super Bowl Champions 1993. This is a 2X. 
it's it's kind of a heathered gray um ivory if that makes any sense i don't think the shirt is yellowed i don't think it was ever white but it kind of has a cream gray look if that makes any sense anyway there's a back to rose bowl champions dallas cowboys so and i'm pretty sure i don't think there's any staining on this one either just not sure what to call that color anyway i uh, don't know a lot about this this does not have a size tag made in the USA. Um, a W A C S A A A W A W X. I don't know, but anyway, that's a, um, a Turner Air Force Base. So I haven't really looked that up, but I knew it was old, so I picked it up. Here's another one that I really don't know a whole lot about, but I knew it was old, so I picked it up. It's a medium. Um, an adult medium, I guess. I don't know. I mean, one of them slim fit mediums that they were making those back in the day. But it just says airborne. It kind of looks like a patch with the eagle. And it is a, an 84, 1984. It's in good condition. It doesn't have any condition issues. Maybe a little bit of pilling, but that's it. Bourbon Street. New Orleans, birthplace of jazz. Um, it's got a little bit of cracking, but other than that, there are no condition issues, no holes or anything like that. And it is an adult medium. Okay. I've picked up some of these shirts before. Not this shirt, but I think it's the same um, cartoon strip. So this is Bill, I think, Bill the cat, right? I can't read it, but I'm thinking, I think it's Bill the Cat. Anyway, it's a cartoon strip in the Washington Post, and I don't, that's about all I know, and it's made in the USA, and I don't see a size right away, so I'll have to do some measurements. Large, probably, who knows. All right, which one's next? This is a Marlboro, Marlboro, Marlboro cigarette made in the USA, extra large. That is fuzz, that is not a spot. Get off of there. Pocket T, just says adventure team here and on the back it has this great graphic coyote, what does that say? Coyote bluff. So I've looked this up and there are some pretty good sell through rates on this. No condition issues on this either that I remember. I don't know, I've already taken my pictures, so I'll have to refresh my memory. All right, let's see. This is um, from the comic strip, um, Mother Grace and Grimm. This is Grimmy. I love Chase and Tail. Um, does this have a year on it? 1990. And it is made in the USA, single stitch, size large. Cute, cute. All right, down to two. I don't know that this is anything special, but it just had such a great, huge graphic. I picked it up. It's a Texas A&M. Let's see. Texas A&M 1994 Mobile Cotton Bowl. Yeah. Just, it was such a huge graphic. Isn't that awesome? Love it. Well, then I don't know anything about football. Made in the USA, size large. This is a generous large, I'm going to say. Single stitch, vintage, great shirt. All right, so here is where... Huh. I've been all over the place with this. This is um, an M.C. Escher. He's an artist. So this is a shirt um, that has a lot of his artwork on it. This is a 1989 vintage single stitch extra large. So you've got the artwork here. You've got two panels here. 
and then you've got more artwork on the back. Now I can find other I can find another shirt that has just as much artwork but not the same for over a hundred dollars. I can find other t-shirts that maybe have just this one or just one of these or you know something like that. But I cannot find one or I have not yet found one with these pieces on it. So I've got it priced high and we'll see. You know. There are some, um, not, I don't I think it has one hole close to the hem right here. If you can see that, it's tiny. And then there are some minor stains, but nothing really big. And I've pointed all that out in the, uh, in the listing. So I don't know if you can find this exact one like I said, I can find some similar or some with just one of the prints, but not one just like this. Not yet. So if you do, let me know. That's all I got for now, y'all. It is um, August 3rd, I think. Yeah, August 3rd. And um, July was awesome. I have yet to do a What Sold video because I suck at editing. So maybe, maybe I get better in August. Who knows? Um, I gotta get, I've got probably half of this photographed, but not listed. So I've got to finish photographing and get everything listed. So if you saw something you're interested in, hit me up on Instagram or shoot me an email or on Facebook or whatever and let me know. And if you have any comments, I'd love to hear them. If you have any questions, I'd love to answer them. If you like to subscribe, I'd love for you to do that too. Hit the like button, whatever. I'd love to grow the channel, so tell your friends about it. And I hope y'all have a fantastic day.